So HACCP is first and foremost an acronym. It stands for Hazard Analysis Critical Control Points. The longer answer is HACCP is a systematic approach to risk mitigation specific to your operation. So we say that your HACCP plan may be thought of as farm to shipping, if you are vertically integrated receiving commodities from the field, or if you're one of those kind of middlemen intermediary processing steps, you can think of HACCP as from receiving to shipping. So the point at which you are receiving your raw materials, your raw goods, your packaging, your chemicals, your utilities, that is where HACCP starts. And HACCP is going to end when you are confident in the finished product that you are shipping out of your doors. If we think of HACCP as a systematic approach to risk mitigation, that tells us that you have to think about your process before you even begin handling your product. So you're going to take that proactive approach by assessing your ingredients, your packaging, but also the process itself because every company and every facility is different. So the reason HACCP is important is because it is unique to what you are doing at your facility. Your HACCP plan is unique to your product, your finished product, but also any and all products you're bringing on site, any packaging and the combination of all of those aspects. So the combination of your ingredients, your processing activities, your equipment, um, but then again, your finished product. Absolutely. A proactive approach means that you are anticipating the problems before they happen and that you have a game plan. That game plan is what we call your corrective actions. So by anticipating those problems, it could be a deviation from a CCP or it could be a reasonably foreseeable um, issue or problem given your process, given your environment, given the facility that you have operating. If you can anticipate those problems and have the game plan in place, you're showing your due diligence. And that's a big thing when it comes to regulatory compliance is showing due diligence. So a proactive approach would be anticipating how to respond to a deviation from your critical limit. If you are processing a product under pasteurization and you have identified that pasteurization as your CCP, your critical control point, we know that you have critical limits you have to meet. If you're processing your product and you don't meet those critical limits, you have deviated product. That deviation is going to require a formal corrective action. So if you can anticipate that ahead of time, have a proactive approach, you're able to not only realize you have a problem due to your monitoring activities, but you're also able to implement your corrective action. That corrective action is what shows you've brought your process back under control and the food is now safe to consume. When it comes to your proactive approaches, remember that we're going to think about your process and take that into consideration. We're also going to take into consideration your processing environment, but also your finished product. At the end of the day, what is it that you are looking to achieve? 